All right. I'm really excited about this one just because of the level of hypocrisy revealed by this NYPD sergeant suing Starbucks after violent encounter in busy Midtown location speaks out. Now, if you think you know where this is going, you're mostly right. But as always with government, the reality is going to be worse, not better than you expected. An injury sustained in a violent scuffle inside a Midtown Starbucks could spell the premature end of an NYPD sergeant's career. And right away, as someone who just understands how evil and vicious the police state is, I go, oh, pfft. your career arresting people for victimless crimes, your career as a criminal enforcing the will of politicians, enforcing law as opposed to the natural law, as opposed to actually serving and protecting. Your career as a criminal is over. Sergeant Timothy Wall, I'm sorry, I am not going to cry over that, knowing how many lives have been ruined, careers have been ended by police officers. NYPD, I think of you know Eric Garner, I think of Stop and Frisk, I, I think of so many unjustified shootings. It's, it's too many to count. But when this self-righteous prick sustains an injury in the line of duty, well, I'll just tell you what happens. Sergeant Timothy Wall says it all could have been prevented if the coffee chain had just listened to him. He claims he warned them for over a year if they didn't change their policy when it comes to giving free food to people who are emotionally disturbed, someone was going to get hurt. He just had no idea that it would be him. Now, this is from CBS News, and, and I watched the video, uh, and it is, it is, it's just, the, the local news, it's, well, there's a police officer who's suing Starbucks, and if they had listened, it's just, it's insane that they don't, there, there's, the removal of editorialization in the presentation, like, oh, we're, we're journalists, we report things without bias, it just shows what bootlickers they are, that they don't have just common human decency to expose the absurdity of this case. But instead, they, they just promote this fairy tale of, of propaganda. Ever since he was a little boy, Sergeant Wall had a sight set on the pride and prestige of becoming a police officer. See, the story is so much better in, like, sarcastic fake news voice than in the real news voice. Quote, My dad's a cop. My brother's a cop. It's something that's important to our family. We have a long tradition of beating up homeless people and arresting people for victimless crimes. We have a long tradition of doing violence on behalf of government, and we couldn't possibly give that up. Continuing to fulfill that dream with the NYPD is in jeopardy now because of an injury he sustained on the job seven months ago on the second floor of a Midtown Starbucks. Oh my gosh! That dream is in jeopardy! Quote, I'm 33 years old and newly married. It might be the end of the career that I love. Oh, you're newly married, so we're supposed to feel extra sorry for you, Mr. Officer. On September 28, 2017, Wall responded to a call for a disturbed and violent individual at the popular coffee shop at 39th Street and 8th Avenue. It's a spot Wall says is notorious for complaints of harassment from disorderly men. Quote, assaults at the location, drug use in the bathroom. No, they're serving drugs at the counter. Caffeine, what, what do you expect? Um, but he was, this, this, there's just another disgusting premise of this, that, that he is a police officer. Instead of, his doing his, instead of doing his job and providing security for a public location, he's going to try to tell them how to run their business and blame them for not listening to him when he fucks up doing his job and gets hurt. On that particular day, it was a 24-year-old homeless man who was making threats, unhappy with the free croissant he had just gotten from employees. Quote, from Wall, He wanted to kill everyone at the location. He went to grab the bag, stating he was going to kill everyone. We didn't know what was in the bag, so we couldn't take the risk. It could have been a bomb! 9-11! Terrorism! Muslims! Of, who knows what could have been in the bag? We had to take him out. So... While restraining the combative man, Wall says his shoulder popped out of its socket and stayed that way for 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't mean to, to laugh at his misfortune, but you're a trained officer. 
do you at least not know how to go into a situation like this without risking harm to yourself? And now I, you know, I'm, I'm against use of force unnecessarily at all, but just the disregard for common sense here. Yeah. You got a gun, you got a taser, you got pepper spray. The guy's really threatening. Do you really think tackling him? I have to assume that's what happened. You, you assaulted this man so bad that your shoulder was dislocated, Sergeant Wall. Like really? Perhaps it's your own bad training, your own over aggressiveness, your own you know, disregard for I, I think what would be smarter at least, if, if not what is current police procedure to, to de-escalate such a situation rather than to jump in and tackle a homeless guy who's on a rant. Because he had a paper bag full of terrorists. On top of that, he says he's in pain every day. I tore my labrum and I have seven anchors in my right shoulder. Now, I, I mean, it's funny. I, I didn't realize I had this connection to the story. I, I tore my labrum up pretty bad playing rugby in college. I was able to rehab that. Maybe your injury's worse. Maybe, maybe tackling crazy homeless people is, is more dangerous than, than playing rugby. Now the 10-year veteran is suing Starbucks. He says for more than a year, he repeatedly warned managers that handing out free food and drinks to emotionally disturbed people in the store could be dangerous. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm almost at a loss for where to start deconstructing the bullshit in this lawsuit. He says he even offered to help set up a different method for helping the hungry. Sure. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure when you tackle that homeless man that, that helping the hungry is at the forefront of your mind, Sergeant Wall. Quote, I just feel like it was their negligence that led to me getting hurt. Well, I'm sorry, your feels do not change reality that you are responsible for your actions, Mr. Wall. You cannot sue a third party who is not directly involved with this altercation. You know, hypothetically, you could sue the homeless man. To what end? I don't know why you would do that. To turn him into a debt slave, perhaps, like government is so inclined to do for the rest of us anyway. In papers filed in court, Starbucks blamed the injuries on culpable conduct and assumption of risk. In a statement they told CBS2, no free food was provided nor precipitated this incident. Oh, so we have a cop who's lying again, too. <laughs> no surprise there. Starbucks does have a security guard inside the location, and there was one there the day that Wall was assaulted. He says the guard didn't do much other than point to the problem. Because that was probably the smarter thing to do. Wall is currently on restricted duty behind a desk and figures he'll be placed on disability in the coming months. As for the 24-year-old homeless man, he was arrested for assault that day, but wasn't in custody long. He was arrested again recently in connection to a string of burglaries. The NYPD picked him up inside, of all places, a Starbucks. Now, oh, the, just the, the, the layers of this story. Instead of dealing with this crazy homeless person in a positive, constructive way that gets him treatment, they tackle him so violently that the police officer involved dislocates his shoulder. And this poor guy, instead of, instead of being handled properly, because, yeah, maybe if you're making threats like that, you should be detained. At least until you can prove that you're not a threat, that until you get the treatment that would be appropriate for that. Instead, what do they do? They release him the next day, and then more people get, uh, get robbed in a string of burglaries by this man. But, of course, that gives the NYPD more excuses to go in and conduct more investigations and justify more of their bloated, unnecessary, wasteful budgets. The ultimate element of this that disgusts me so much, the, the real hypocrisy here is, is to know that so many lives have been ruined by the police in instances like this. I myself have been physically injured in altercations initiated by police. I can't even call them altercations. I always go limp. <laughs> I've been injured by police officers before. I've been a victim of police brutality. And I've always been told by lawyers, there's no point in suing. It's almost impossible to sue the government. But when you're a cop, you can get a lawsuit like this against Starbucks for not being meaner to homeless people because you tackled a homeless person and then 
unleashed him back upon the world to commit more acts of aggression. I don't know who was more insane, this cop or the poor homeless person who he tackled. But I do know which one is a greater threat to society. It's the gang member in the blue costume. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.